So if your drive is anything like mine, it um, is a big hot mess. Um, with stuff all over the place from the past um, couple of years of remote learning and before that a lot of transition to um, digital learning and you know Google Drive and we're using Google Classroom so I just have a really big mess um, and today I am going to um, the objective of this video is to help you get just organized enough so that when you are searching in the drive you can be more productive. To get you organized, I'm going to guide you through a few different um, strategies you can use to get your drive cleaned up and everything that you currently have without having to look at everything narrowed down to two folders, as you can see here. So you may be thinking, why would I want to do this? So this is, all goes back to um being able to search more efficiently so right now when you're searching if you go into your drive and start searching and you put in plant um, adoption it's a project i did last year and when i type it into my drive it is endless all the assignments that have been turned in and the copy of that assignments turned in by my students but if i use my two folder system that i have made in my drive and i change it to only search in one of the folders that I'm going to show you how to make and change my results. When I search for plant adoption, I only get my one document that I am actually needing. To get started, we're going to create two new folders in your drive. And I'm going to go real quick through showing you how to do that. So you're going to right click new folder and then name it. The first one I'm naming is a very important one. It's student work and I'm not going to touch it. So I need something to let me know. Don't touch this folder. Leave it alone. And then I'm going to make another folder that's for everything else I can touch. I'm just calling it Heather's stuff. It probably should be just called like the hot mess folder or all the stuff folder, but it's for everything else that I can touch. Now we're going to start moving folders that contain student work um, that we want to make sure and keep and not mess with into the student work folder that we created. So you have an assignments folder. This is where your Google assignments are being saved. There's a folder for each of your classes and inside of those a folder for each assignment. I'm going to take that assignments folder and drag it into the student work folder where I'm just going to leave it alone. I do not need to mess with that folder. You also likely have a Google Classroom folder. This is from a few years ago when we used Google Classroom. Again, it's full of lots of student records and work. Um, I don't want to get rid of it, but I do want to move it somewhere. I'm just not even going to be thinking about it anymore. I'm going to drag and drop it into that student work leave alone folder. And then finally, we have the Rock YSD folder. It's another folder that was created by um, Canvas um, when we made um, Google um, Drive cloud assignments last year and it has a folder for each of our um, remote classes or our classes from last year and inside of it it has work and templates. We want to move that into the student work leave alone folder and so that folder is full of things that I don't want to delete but I'm not going to be messing with them at all. Once I get all that student work moved out of the way, then I can start focusing on the stuff that I do use every day. So I'm gonna move everything else into your folder. I called mine Heather stuff. Um, I'm not sure what you called yours, but wherever that other second folder is that you created, we're gonna begin moving. And I can hold down shift and select multiple um, folders at the same time. And I'm gonna drag that into my folder, Heather stuff. I'm gonna move everything over. Um, I can even move over folders that are shortcuts to maybe a shared folder. So I just have that shortcut link in my drive, um, like that ITS folder you see there. And I'm going to select those folders and I'm going to move them into that folder that I created that is going to have everything um, that I do want to use on a daily basis. Now, you're going to have a lot of files. So the next step um, after we get all those folders moved in is going to be to look at how we start moving a lot of files. So my biggest issue in my drive is 
not necessarily those folders, but it's all that stuff. When I go to my drive, it's listed just files. I am, um, I have hundreds, probably thousands. It's pretty bad. So I need to get all that stuff and I need to move it into Heather's stuff. Um, I want it there because I mean, it probably could be deleted, but I, sometimes I'm not really good when I'm saving my stuff, saving it to my content folder, or my science folder, or my social studies folder. Um, and so I need to start moving that stuff over. So you can select multiple files at one time. As you see, as I'm holding down my mouse and I drag across the files, they do begin to highlight. So I can grab, you know, let's see, I have 12 of them there on the screen. I can drag all 12 at the same time. And I'm not worried about where they're going to go right now. Um, so I can um, move them by right clicking and move to, or I can just drag them all up and drop them into Heather's stuff. Um, that's a rainy day project at some point in the future to go and start organizing that stuff. But for now, I want everything to be in that Heather's stuff folder. So now I have my drive and y'all this it took me hours. Um, I had too much stuff y'all. Uh, so now I am, have a beautiful drive. When I go to my drive, I have a Heather stuff folder and have a student work leave alone folder. That student work, this is all stuff I just need to leave alone. You should be accessing student work. You can get that through Canvas. Um, there's really not a whole lot of reason for you to come here and um, start pulling student work out or copies of anything out. So all this stuff that's in this student work, leave alone, just leave it alone. Um, everything I'm gonna be doing now is gonna be in Heather's stuff now. Heather stuff folder is a big mess, um, once again. But the great thing about this now is that when I want to try and find something, and I'll be honest, I, I'm pretty good about the stuff I use all the time. I'm sorting it into folders. So I have content folders um, broken down by unit when I go into the different content areas that I've taught in the past. So that's actual teaching materials. Um, and that took me, you know, I, that was a year, year and a half of building that in the classroom um, while I was teaching and organizing myself. Um, it's not something I did over a weekend or after school. Um, it was just something I said, I'm going to start being organized and I was organized moving forward. And then now that I am in my new role, I have this digital learning ideas. And so as I'm creating um, projects and assignments for teachers and professional learning stuff, I'm dropping everything into here. And I've started trying to organize it into folders, but then I've already got this whole dumping ground that's going as well. Um, but I know if it's something I made, I can go in here and look for it. It's probably going to be there. But there's those times where I'm like, I'm thinking of something I can't, I, I went to where I thought it was going to be and it's not there. Um, I don't want to go through this and y'all have so much stuff my stuff won't even load okay it's just like endless i have too much stuff in videos and all kinds of things um so if i want to search for something i'm pretty sure i know the name of it um i now instead of going up to search and drive which i can i can set some filters there but instead i can go to heather's stuff folder and i can search just here so i know that anything um, that I'm searching for as far as like what I teach is probably going to be here. So I'm just searching in this folder. And so I'm looking for my plant adoption project. And when I search, it's going to get go right to what I need. And now there's all this other junk um, that may have the name somewhere in it or those were keywords somewhere in it. But I immediately get a, exactly what I was looking for. And it's my version. It's the one that is in my Folder. It's not a student copy that is showing up in one of those Google assignment folders, um, which was the issue earlier and the issue that so many of you have shared with me. So that is the two folder system in a nutshell. Of course, there's way more ways to organize your drive. This is just one way. And I hope that um, if you do find time, I know y'all are so busy, but if you do uh, find time to do this, it is going to number one, when you go on your drive, Already, I feel so less overwhelmed now um, when I'm looking at a pretty clean drive. And secondly, it's going to make my searching just so much easier now that I know everything that is a student copy is moved over to the side, basically. I'm not going to be messing with it. 
and all of my teaching stuff um, that I have been working on for um, the past two years is all going to be in my folder. And I can just now search within that folder to find exactly what I need and hopefully avoid um, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of copies of copies of student work that were showing up for you before. Hope this helps. Have a great week.